Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and this is AuthorQuest. In this episode I'm going to share with you 5 tips to make your sci-fi fantasy novel engaging and impossible to put down. Huzzah! Have you ever started writing a story that is so vivid in your mind that you write huge swaths of it all at once? Pure, unbridled inspiration taking you down an epic journey. But when you came back to it, it was cringy, flat, and all the beats felt disjointed. Altogether, it was hard to read and to stay engaged. At one moment, it was good, and at the next moment, it was garbage. Here's why. The inception of the idea earned the payoff for you, the author. As the author, you're in the position to love the story and to be passionate about, passionate about it before words are on paper. Readers are the opposite. They get the words first, and it's up to the author's skill and to the reader's disposition to bring about the passion for the story. In the aforementioned bad version, the quote-unquote coolness of the story is delivered to the reader on a silver platter, which, let's face it, kind of sucks all the fun out of it. The reader is like, nah, 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 nah. I'll decide what's cool. The reader will either find your writing boring, hard to read, hard to understand, and altogether unenjoyable. Here are five tips to make your story engaging and impossible to put down. Tip number one, less is more. This is unpopular writing advice, but that doesn't make it any less true. You don't need a story full of dynamic characters. To make a good story, you only need one dynamic character. The rest can be static or stock. Static and stock doesn't necessarily mean flat, but they don't need the same focus and detail as your protagonist. We live in a world where mainstream entertainment is chock full of backstories, origin stories, and spin-offs. Take Obi-Wan Kenobi, for instance. At one point, he was just a wise wizard mentor for Luke Skywalker, but now he has a backstory in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, season one of his Kenobi TV show is airing as I'm recording this, and not to mention all the books and lore that cover his life from birth to death to afterlife. Don't get me wrong, I love the depth of the Obi-Wan Kenobi character, but it's not necessary to tell the Star Wars story as a whole. If you're an aspiring author, how can you expect to write 14 dynamic characters in 40 chapters? if you've never successfully written one dynamic character in 10 chapters. Number two, knock them down. Let's face it, a reader loves seeing a character at the top of their game. They love it even better if your character loses everything, only to earn it back through trial and suffering. The mark of a good character isn't if your reader loves them at their best. The mark of a good character is when the reader is rooting for them even when they're at their worst. Number three, confidence is key. A great way to show your character's growth is how confidently they engage in an issue. It's not so much the more confidence a character shows, the more they've grown. It's more like you know if a character has changed, if they face their current challenge with more confidence or less confidence. Insecurity is an opportunity for confidence. Your characters will be more interesting when they fall in and out of this confidence. Number four, make them bad. Let your character compromise their beliefs and give them hell with consequences when they do. As an author, it's your job to sell the moral code of a character. To make the moral code, whatever it is, matter to the reader, you need to make sure that the reader knows that when the character follows their code, everything works, and when they don't, everything breaks. If a character does follow their moral code to a T, but they still get clobbered, then that can be a device to humble your character, which provides the opportunity for change. Before I get on to number five, I'd like to encourage you to check out my brother's channel, Writing Quest. Let him know I sent you. Number five, originality is a fool's errand. If you want to keep your readers engaged, leveraged archetypes to your advantage. Archetypes are a sci-fi fantasy author's best friend. Writing is not mystical. It's expressive, but it has consistent patterns. You cannot be completely original. Lord of the Rings was based off of Beowulf. Star Wars was based off of Akira Kurosawa's The Hidden Fortress. What makes these stories interesting is how they combined known archetypes. Star Wars was affectionately branded a space opera, but in reality, it's the combination of an opera, a western, and a samurai epic. If you think the only way you can write a book is by being original, then you have unintentionally blocked yourself from ever getting it written. If you want to know more about archetypes, check out this video here. Huzzah!